Okay guys, so today is October 18th, Sunday. Um, just want to tell you a little story. Last Sunday I woke up, I had a real heart pain. Um, my heart felt like someone was gripping hold of it. I've had pain similar to this for like several years. I've done lots of tests, run stress tests, I've had scans, I've wore a monitor. Everything says that my heart's fine, but I do have these pains. But last Sunday it's particularly bad. So I thought, am I having a heart attack? I I don't know, should I go to hospital? It was bad, but I was trying to like not, you know. Anyway, I fought it and fought it, and I went to the hospital, took the train into city, went to the hospital, got all the way there, decided to go home. The next day I woke up, pain was there exactly the same, so this time I thought I must go. So I went, and this time I went into the hospital, in, into the emergency room, and uh, they immediately scanned my heart. I said, oh, there's a little bit of pressure on your heart. They were drawing blood um, and waiting for results. Um, so I lay there for a while while things were coming back and lucky enough I got Dr. Diaz in the emergency room and Dr. Diaz came up to me and said there's one marker in you, everything in your blood looks great, um, your heart is really, it's like it's not that bad, there's one marker uh, in your blood but a lot of people have this marker and it means nothing, he said I'm waiting on a couple more things, basically I'd said can I get the shunt out of my arm now, you know you've drawn all the blood and he, he was like no we might need some more blood, I'd rather keep it in there, a, okay Dr. Dear, it's no problem, um, anyway the, the results came back and, and Dr. Dears was like still he said, I, I don't know, um, the, your blood's saying one thing that you should be all right, but clearly you've got pain and whatever. Would you mind if, you, if I put you in for a CT scan? Fine. They wheeled me literally out the emergency room, just around the corner, straight into a CT scan. And the technicians were lovely, really good. They said to me, you know, you're going to experience this heat in your body and stuff. They put me in the scan, I came out. I was like... You didn't tell me you were going to fry my testicles, you know. So I was having a bit of joke with people. I was light-hearted, even though I was in pain. It wasn't that. Te it wasn't a terrible, terrible pain. It was bad, but you know, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, about ten minutes later, Doctor Diaz appeared and said, "Mr. Herwood, I'm afraid you've got two very large blood clots on your lungs." Okay. So, well, how large are they, Doctor? They're large large enough that the CT technician walked over your results and handed them to me and they never do that so it's a serious thing got to start work on you so they put me on anticoagulants into my arm you know whatever and uh, I sat there talking with Dr. Dears trying to figure out what you know do a bit of Sherlock Holmes work trying to figure out what's going on but he said uh, if I you know just looking at your chart with these clots on your lungs they're really large I'd expect you to be either dead or gravely ill, and clearly you're not. You're sitting up talking to me. Um, so I explained, you know, about my diets and, uh, and fasting and different things I do. And it turns out that Dr. Diaz was, you know, also does intermittent fasting. So he kind of got that. And he said, well, basically because your body's so strong and healthy, that's why you're, you know, still alive. Um, so I guess I'm, you know, got to be grateful for the things I've done at least I've you know preventative maintenance is actually like worked in my favor now so that's pretty good um, you know very cool the great thing is is Dr. Deers followed his intuition his sixth sense he had a hunch about something and that saved my life anyway the nurses were working on me and then they put something up my nose I was asking them questions about that it's COVID and they were testing me for COVID I'm COVID negative, so that's one good thing. And uh, anyway, I got well up. I was on the ward for two days while they did all of this, you know, like just gave me these drugs and, you know, the pit. They switched me from IV after the first day and a half and I started taking pills. Um, anyway, when I left the hospital, um, because I've been on my back for two days, the, the, I guess the stuff has shifted around to the back. And then the pain was actually across the top of my lung in the back. Every time I, I was gasping for air, and every time I took a breath, it was like someone sliding a, a knife in my, you know, just in the top of my shoulder there. Interestingly, I got blood clots on both lungs, yet only pain on one side. So I was having a problem breathing in as much as every time I breathed, it, it really hurt for a start and it would make me cough. So I got home, um, immediately started. Um, taking ginger, garlic, 
and um, turmeric, uh, curcumin and lemon in a tea form. I, you know, I was putting lots of that in my body. I got in the shower, uh, heat steam and tea tree oil, sniffing in tea tree oil into lungs, trying to open up as much as I could. And that worked brilliantly. Then the following day, my pain was down, reduced. I would say if, if it was at 80% pain, I was down to about 25%. If that, my breathing capacity had opened up a lot more. The following day, it improved even more. However, on the th Friday morning, um, because I think it's because of the pills, I started to get like stomach pains, like cramps. Um, for me, they were quite bad because I've never, I never really get anything wrong with my, you know, stomach. But it's probably like not that bad if you, you know, compared to period pains that women have to suffer. It's probably, but for me, it was a lot. Anyway, once again, I called on nature and uh, ate some natural stuff. That Saturday morning gave me a very explosive morning, to say the least. Um, but anyway, literally got the shit out of my body or whatever, you know. And today, Sunday, I feel great. Look, <sighs> no restriction, no pain, good. So I'm sure there's some people probably um, quite happy that I'm going through this situation. But, you know, even so, I'm still spreading happiness. So that's pretty powerful. Um, from my friends and family, I'm going to put this video together just so that I don't have to keep repeating all these facts and stuff. And secondly, I didn't want, don't worry about me. I'm all good, right? You worrying will not help me and it will definitely not help you. It'll change your blood chemistry and that's not good. So don't do that. Um, if you think about me, just think about me being a dick and making you laugh or whatever. Um, and you know, I just wish you well and hopefully you wish me well and it'll be good. I've clearly got a lot of work to do now. I'm going to step up my game big scale um, into you know serious diet. I'll be doing a fast again pre probably in the next couple of weeks. I'll fast for probably 10 days or 15 days. I'll see how I feel at the time. Um, I'm doing, I'll do sonic therapy to try and clear the lungs, you know, break stuff down um, and we'll see how it goes. I've got to be on these pills for about three months so I can't really do anything until then. Then I guess we start screening for cancers and stuff like that. But um, anyway, I feel pretty fucking good to be honest. I'm really, really happy to be alive. The reason to make this video is one, to thank Dr. Diaz for following his gut instinct and intuition and saving my life. Two, um, don't be like me. If you have a pain or if you're ill or something's not jiving with you, just go to a doctor, all right? Now, hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite. I always avoid doctors at all costs. And like I told you, I've, I've visited the, the hospital twice to go to in the emergency room only to leave and go home. So, but seriously, the third time I went in saved me life. So just go in and do it, all right? And the third thing, you know, do some research on diet, um, on some healthy things and, and fasting, you know, this stuff, I'm convinced, as the doctor is, that that's what saved my life, that I'm strong because of the things that I eat and the things that I do. So anyway, thanks for li listening, have a great day and be well. Bye for now.